Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. Yes, today we are doing a 4K review for the classic Casablanca. And I am pumped to talk about this film. I'm just pumped to talk about this transfer. So we about to get into this thing. So let's go. Casablanca for the first time in 2021, I believe. Uh, yeah, it was part of my 100 movies list. And apparently, I don't remember this, but apparently I didn't love it. I didn't really like it that much. It was like maybe a three and a half out of five for me. After rewatch, I absolutely love this movie. I think some of the scenes and shots actually made me tear up because it was just so like it's so well crafted um but yeah so that is my history with Casablanca I haven't I didn't grow up with this film it wasn't something that I watched you know as a kid or anything um I know a lot of people did I know this is a classic for a lot of people and they have a lot of nostalgia for it it is one of the best films of all time and it is regarded as one of the best films of all time um, but yes, yeah, so Casablanca, they released a 4K for this, um, is, is WB, uh, WB released a 4K for it, um, here's the slip cover, that's what it looks like under the slip cover, and the discs aren't, like, extremely, um, designed or anything, it doesn't have a lot of design to them, uh, the Blu-ray kind of looks like the 4K, Honestly, so here's the 4K for Casablanca. You know, pretty plain, but it's it's pretty, like, um, refined. It's not, you know, sloppy or anything. So pretty neat. And there's the Blu-ray. Pretty identical, other than the logos, the 4K and Blu-ray logos. And here's the back. And it shows the special features. And I'm just going to read off the special features really quick i did watch the introduction by lauren bacall that was pretty interesting she just was on there talking about uh how much of an impact this film made in the movie industry in society period and why it is such a classic um it is like maybe a five minute introduction it's not very long at all um but also on the 4k is the two separate uh commentaries with roger ebert or Ebert, um, and the film historian Rudy Belmer. On the Blu-ray, there's a lot more special features. You have Michael Curtis, uh, the greatest director you never heard of, Casablanca, an uh, unlikely classic, Warner Knights at the movies, great performances, but call on Bogart. Um, you must remember this, a tribute to Casablanca, as time goes by, the children remember. Deleted scenes, outtakes, cartoons, audio only scoring stage sessions. Say that five times fast. <laughs> uh, 11 1947 Vox Pop radio broadcast, theatrical trailers, and more. Whew, that was a lot of stuff, but it is jam packed with special features. So if you're interested in seeing special features for this film, um, go ahead and check that out. It's got a lot of them. Um, I still need to sit down and watch all of them, but I did watch the introduction for um, from Lauren Bacall, um, which that was actually in color. The film is not in color, and we'll we'll get into that. Um, so the movie was not modified for widescreen. This movie was um, like you're watching it on a box. TV has the the bars the black bars on the side and I am actually pretty glad that they kept it that way because it kind of gives it a sense of nostalgia but the actual transfer in the way the movie looks is phenomenal and something that helps is that it's actually shot very very well and the lighting is amazing it is in black and white like i said so there's no color there's no you know uh, pops of color or anything so it's heavily reliant on how the movie is shot and 
it is shot wonderfully. It, it is, um, I, like I said, there was a scene where uh, Rick is sitting at the bar uh, or sitting at one of his tables and he's just like kind of depressed and he's having Sam play him a, a song and the lighting in that scene is just absolutely phenomenal and I was just like yo the lighting in this movie is so good so good um something that draws me to this movie so much is the romance and like the the gravitational pull between these two characters um and I know that doesn't have anything to do with the 4k but you know it's it that's one reason why I enjoy this movie so much um, it is very dialogue heavy. That's pretty much all the movie is. It's people sitting down talking to each other and like different exchanges and things between individuals. And it works. This movie is very well done. It's very well paced. And maybe you start to feel it towards the end of the film. But I am I have a strong interest pretty much throughout the entire thing. Uh, especially with the scenes between Rick and Ilsa. It's kind of like this forbidden love type thing, and I love it. I'm all there for it. The sound is great, but I will say that some people speak with accents, and whenever <laughs> somebody, like pretty much like five minutes into the movie, I had to like throw on the subtitles. I was hoping I didn't need the subtitles for this film just to get like an accurate, um, you know, perception on how the 4K is. But I had to throw on those subtitles and they worked and they were very good. You know, sometimes subtitles will be a little off here and there. Uh, there were like some words that weren't showing up on the subtitles, but not a lot. All in all, this is a fantastic 4K. And for these 4K reviews, I'm going to start giving them like a, a score, not a number or letter score. But I'll say if it's worth upgrading, if it's not worth upgrading, if it's good, if it's not. So for this one, I'm going to say it is a great 4K and it is worth upgrading. Um, so yeah, that is my grade for Casablanca 4K. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you head down to the comments, like it, subscribe to my channel, follow me on socials, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Letterboxd, Serialized, AJ Reacts to all across the board, all one word. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.